hello guys welcome back so in the last video tutorial we were able to um do the logout of the application okay so when i go ahead and then i log in okay and i try to log out it should work so this is the um login process and i am able to log in now when i go to profile we added the um you can see we added it at the top there the logout button for the top and then when you click on it it logouts but then we get an error and we are going to fix that don't worry about the error i will explain to you why we are getting that error and then we will fix that okay so um what we are going to do now is um we are going to do work on the auto logout and then the auto login okay but i will need some packages which i've already um added to my to my prospect yaml okay so if you go here you can add those two packages there okay so i am adding the shared preference and then the rs dot okay so i will start working using the shared preference okay so in a sense you can think of um the shared preference as a local storage but then it's not used for like um a database okay we don't use it like a database or like an sqlite or something we just store information um some more information in a key value pair like the way we add uh, maps in our code okay where we have the key and then we have the value okay so we use the key to retrieve the value from the map okay in this sense you think of it as if we are storing a map in our local storage which we can use later okay so i will come here and then i will create a shared preference um object okay so here yeah, and then i'll create the instance of the shared preference okay dot get instance okay so this is how we create the object and the reason why i'm getting the error is because i have to await for the um object to be created okay now i have it here so we are going to use this object to store the information of the user when the user logs in now when the user logs in we know that we get the information from the database that's when we fetch the info based on the local id that we return when we create or when we sign up uh, we sign in a user in firebase okay we get this information return as a response from the http and then we use that local id to get the user info which we created ourselves this is a method we created ourselves okay so we get the information here and then we save it in the authenticated user now saving it in the authenticated user that means we can save the same information in what in our local storage which is the shared preference okay so i'll use the preference uh, preference object here and then i'll say set string here now when i do that you can see we have the key and then the value here okay so the key is any name that you can use to retrieve the value that you want so i want to name it as what username and then i also want the value to be what saved there now, what is the value that I want to save there? I want to save the username with this um, associated key, okay? So I will copy this, okay, because this is the information that we are getting when we sign in. And then I will paste it here, and then I will do dot username, okay? Because that's what we want to save. So I will go ahead and then save the email, and then I will also save the user type there. So now I will just go ahead, email, and then save email and also do another one for the user type okay and then user type here get a point now okay so we save it inside the local storage okay of our application and now when we also sign up we also want to save the same information in the um, local storage okay so i'll copy this and then i will come inside here after adding the user information to the database, I want to save it in the local storage, okay? So in the local storage, we are not going to use the authenticated, this um, um, variable that we created, okay? Because the reason why we are not going to use this variable or object that we created is because if you look carefully, we only um, get information when we sign in. But when we are signing up, we don't even fetch any information in the, auth, in the sign up so what how are we going to save this information you already know that when we are signing up in the sign up page okay we get we pass in the user info okay let me just quickly show you that you can see we have the user info passed in here so i'll open my sign up page here 
and then in the sign up page i think on the submit let me um okay on the submit here and then we come here okay you can see that we are passing in the e user info here and then the user info is this okay where we have the email and then username user type and everything there okay we pass this kind of uh, map here into the authenticate method okay and as we are working in the authenticate method we have it here okay so we only have it when we are out signing up when we are signing in we don't have it that's why we retrieve that information out from the database and then use it here so when we are signing up this becomes what no because there's there's nothing like we are getting that information here so we can't use that here so i'll just take this one out and then use the um user info that we passed there okay and then we have the email i'm sorry i want the username here and then i'll copy the same thing and then do it for the rest so i copy this and i paste here and i will change this towards email and then i'll also paste code here and then i'll change this to user type and then i save it okay so that means now when we sign in or when we sign up we save the information in our local storage okay so i just want to add some more spaces to just um yeah so now how do we use this okay so now we save this into the database okay now the reason why i not in sorry not in database local storage okay the reason why i decided to save this in the local storage is because of the auto authentication okay when a user opens the app again if the user has already logged in before we don't want to uh the user to sign in again before we can get the user okay the authenticated user so this time when we are auto logging the user the user is not going to sign in or sign up again okay so we need to save the information in the local storage and then retrieve it and then we can create a new what user based on the information that we get okay so this is what i mean now i can come here and then create a new variable called auto authenticate or auto login something like this now with this auto login i can create the shared preference object okay and then i can also have the shared preference just like we did before get instance i get the instance and we always have to await for that so i will use the async here and then i'm going to await here now when i do this then it means i can now have access to what the value that has been stored inside okay but before i come here and then continue to reach i mean get the value i want to explain something to you when we create um a user in firebase okay let me just go there and then we create a user we get an spy um time okay or um seconds okay which is three thousand six hundred seconds which is one hour okay and then we get what the token yeah you can refresh the token to get um i mean to extend the um expiry expiry date okay or the expiry time okay so what happens is when a user logs in in our application because we are using the um firebase okay this is going to expire in what one hour so that means in one hour the uh, the id token will, will be what will be invalid which means that the user cannot um perform some operation let's say the user can now cannot um add um food to the system cannot make some purchases based on the functionalities of our app the user cannot do that because the um the token has what expired in one hour okay so we have to make sure that we set in um a timer and all that to check whether the it, um the expiry time is up and then we can log out the user and also if it's not up and then the look at the user um close the app if the user is now coming back we check whether the expiry time is done or not if it's not done then we can log in the user if it is done then we have to go back to what the um the the sign up page uh, or the sign in page for the user to sign in again okay so um back here i already have this code completed okay but after um let me see something so um i think 
inside this code here okay where we have this um this if statement here i want to also save what prev dot set string okay now i want to also save the token here okay i want to save the token so i will just come here and then copy this response okay i have access to this response and then the um the prefs object because of because it's available in the if statement for this one so i can just put the code here and then save so whether you sign up or you sign in okay whether you sign up or you sign in what i have to do i, I still get access to the token and then i can save it there so now i have this one saved in and then i can come here also okay so now when i come here okay let me also save in the um expiry time okay so i'll copy this and then saving the expiry time which is expires in okay so with this expiry time okay expires in sorry here okay so that means i have access to um these two strings here now when i come in here i can now um check if i'm sorry use the um string and then i can say token here and i can do pref dot get string here and then what i want to get is the token okay now i can check if the token is null okay if the token is null then that means i want to do something else okay so if the token is null that means the user was never logged in or something okay so if the token is null then i want to set the authenticated user to what no and i also want to set the authenticated user info to also now and then notify the listeners notify listeners okay so that's basically what i'm going to do here for now okay so we save the share preference we save the information into our local storage and then we retrieve it to check if it is now okay so i'll leave the video here and then um in the next video i will show you how we can use the timer to um log out the user and then we can use um check the expiry time and then we log in the user automatically okay because i think this video is already long more than 10 minutes now so i'll leave the video here and i'll see you in the next video